Hello, Bryant Bears. We're back today. We were feeling a little batty tonight. So joining me is Batman himself. Okay, so today we're gonna to be learning about silhouettes and overlapping. Here are the supplies you will need. A pencil, a marker, you can have crayons, we used a crayon, you don't have to. And scissors. scissors. And a straw. A straw, paintbrush, paint, we use these little ones, but you can use whatever. A little bit of water. And a paper plate. Paper plate to put the paint in, some paper, and some tape. I use masking tape because it worked well. Okay? And here's an example. So we made the bats. And we're going to show them to tell them about a silhouette. So a silhouette is the outline of something, and usually they're filled in with black, but there's no details in the inside of them. And then overlapping is where one thing goes on top of the other. So right here, we've got our little bats overlapping a little bit. So those are two art vocabulary words. Okay, you could make anything as your silhouette, but if you want to make a bat, like Batman tonight, Here's what you need to do. So take a piece of paper, pencil. Okay, we're gonna make a stencil for the back. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a triangle for the ears. Line in the middle. And then another triangle. Try to make them symmetrical, which means the same on both sides. Okay? Then we're gonna make a diagonal line on both sides coming up for the wings. Diagonal. Okay. Curve down. And you can make it smaller. I'm making this one pretty big. Little points. And then you're gonna just keep going in point. You can almost make it, this into an M. You getting it? Yep, your M's. And we have the middle part of the bat. Kind of looks like a V. So when I did this, I drew a few of them. I made a big one and then a small one. This one's pretty small too. And then what we did is we took this. So Kipton did a nice job. I mean Batman. And then we cut it out. Okay, so we cut it out. And then it will look like this. Mine's a little painted on, okay? You'll take your new paper after you cut these out and you will add a little piece of tape, just like a tiny bit. And you're gonna tape them into place where you don't want the paint to be. So maybe you're gonna put one here. Mm -hmm. And here, and maybe another one over here. So when I did mine, I taped the stencils down in these spots, okay? This is gonna allow them to not get very much paint on them. And then if you want in the background, we use splatter paint, but you wouldn't have to do splatter paint if you don't have paint, you could color it as well. But I used a black crayon um, and filled these in for the silhouette. But before that, like I said, I taped this down. So this was over here on top. And I had them all taped. Oops. Covering this. And then when we did the splatter paint, we put paint in a plate with quite a bit of water because it needs to be thin. Okay, and we took a little bit of it. And we put dots of it on the paper. Okay. And then we used a straw 
and blew on it and it would move. And it was just a fun, nice design for the background. But like I said, if you don't have paint, you could do whatever you wanted. Okay, so to review our art vocabulary, we did a silhouette, which is the outline. Okay, no details in the out inside. And then overlapping is one shape on top of the other. So we hope you try it and send us some pictures back. Can you say goodbye, Batman? And here's Camden to say hello.